I believe we have a spiritual nature and we have a psychological nature. Our spiritual nature is our essence, it's our soul, whatever you want to call it. It's the energy within us that is unchanging, the spark, the innate well-being that's there without any of us having to do anything. It, it, it just is. As human beings, this innate well-being just is an ocean of calm for us all to drop into or to live from. Our soul or our innate well-being doesn't have an opinion. It doesn't care. It just is. And then there's our psychological nature, our ego. From the minute you're born, you're given a name. You're given an insurance number, a national insurance number here in the UK. You're also given an identity, a gender. And from that space, that is how you grow up, believing this is who you are, this is what you'll do, this is how things work. And we're unconsciously conditioned in so many ways that are innocent, in so many ways that are definitely not innocent by the press and the media and our education systems. So when we have these ideas and concepts about ourselves, which are all constructed from the gifts of mind, thought and consciousness, and we believe them to be true because they've been repeated so often, we believe them to be true. Such is the seducibility of thought. That when we find we're in a situation where we believe there's a way for us to be and we cannot be that way, or other people don't respond or react to us the way that we want them to, based on this egoic idea and identity of who we think we are, then human beings tend to get upset. They don't like it. It triggers them, they believe, from the outside in. The more aware and awake and conscious we become, knowing what we believe our identity is. And I'm inviting you again to write it down. I am kind, I am generous, I am this, I am that. And notice noticing in the moments that you cannot be that thought or that concept that you believe you are. Notice the turmoil created within yourself, by yourself, not by anybody else, by yourself always from the inside out. And as we start to notice, noticing our stories, we make them visible. They start to hold less of an impact on us because you get that gap between stimulus and response that allows you just to let go, to not be bothered, to be okay with knowing that whatever idea or concept that is attached to the egoic idea of who you think you are, you can just let it go because you know it's not true. You know it's just a created reality, either in the moment or previously, and it's been held as a memory, 